Hey guys, this is Dumb Orange 97 here. Here today, guys, I am showing you a video of a review of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while now, so let's get started. So, as such, I wanted to keep in mind this is all my opinion. Please, guys, keep things civil if you don't agree with it. So, yeah, let's get started. First, we're going to start with graphics. While I will say, while graphics aren't particularly anything amazing, they're definitely really good. And, you know, character models do their good job. You know, it's just, it's a good looking game. You know, it's nothing amazing. It's not going to, like, you know, burn your eyeballs out of their socket, if you know what I mean. But, you know, it's good. So, yeah. And it definitely looks like a next-gen title for Call of Duty. Ghosts did not. So now on to sound. Sound, um, again, nothing amazing, but, you know, it's good. You know, I like the sound of the guns. The guns sound really good. And, you know, they're just, they're well done. So kudos to that voice. Voice, um, is everything you would expect of a Call of Duty game. And, but there's one new addition to the voice acting, which is really good for both the story and the acting alike. Kevin Spacey is in this game, guys. Yeah, freaking Kevin Spacey. So yeah, uh, but the voice acting did a really good job, and you know, pretty good. So yeah, now on to the story of the game. Uh, the story is basically um, how to explain? The story is basically where it takes place in 2040, I believe it is. Um, you're you're the character Jack Mitchell. And basically, you um, serve the U.S. Army until your friend unfortunately dies. And guess what, though? His father, a.k.a. Kevin Spacey, who's, you know, played by Kevin Spacey, the character Jonathan Irons is a um, dude who um, is the CEO of a military corporation called Atlas. So as such, you work for Irons, you do Atlas and put down terrorists called the KVA and stuff, but eventually they're going to get some plot points that are actually going to be really shocking and stuff. But you know, I don't want to say any more about the risk of spoilers, so let's just move on to gameplay. Gameplay is pretty simple, like I said, everything you would expect of a Call of Duty game. Um, you know, like, it does a good job. I will admit, one thing I do like is that the gameplay actually provides a lot more freedom than previous Call of Duties. You know, and I think that's because of the Exos. Because the Exos is a really good addition. It definitely adds a new dynamic into the game. One minor complaint I have with the campaign by terms of its Exo abilities, well, just the Exo suit in general, is that you can't choose what abilities you have in it. The game missions like choose it for you and it it's kind of just a bit like law you know so that's a minor complaint and you know like the game's linear but like i said at this point you would sort of expect to have call of duty you know so really if you played the code previous call of duties you basically are gonna know what you're getting into with this one you know so yeah but ultimately it's a good game. Like, it's a good campaign, and it's fun. So, you know, um, definitely at least try it out before judging, you know. This is definitely a lot better than most Call of Duty campaigns I've played, and personally, I probably, like, this campaign actually probably had, like, a, like probably the most sensible Call of Duty story in my view, and... Yeah, it's just, the game's fun. So, you know, um, so that's around it, on my opinion, on the campaign. But we all know that the campaign isn't the main reason people buy Call of Duty. We all know the main reason. The multiplayer, that's kind of obvious. But before getting into that, I would like to mention Exo Survival. That's basically the um, survival mode. You're pitted uh, against wave after wave of enemies. Um, and you know, you play with friends and stuff, it's one minor complaint, well, not minor, it's actually major actually, it is not really a good replacement for zombies or extermination, 
but or extinction i forget what it's called but um just you know it's not a good replacement for those so keep that in mind um but it's a good addition so now on to the reason people buy most call of duties and that's the multiplayer now like i said there you're not like if you played the call previous call of duties you're gonna know what you're getting into but the key new thing that's really good about this one is the fact that it includes the exos and I think that the exos are really good they definitely add a lot of good dynamics it makes it feel fresh um, nothing revolutionary but you know it's a fresh concept so yeah um and definitely um you know like the game um had upgraded the pick 10 system that black ops 2 had to the pick 13 so that's really cool and like i said the exos are just a really good dynamic and i actually think that it makes call of duty take a lot more skill now because dude like fans personally i did not believe call of duty took too much skill especially in the previous ones you know like but now i'm starting to believe that advanced warfare actually puts like a lot of skill in call of duty so you know i really enjoy that aspect it really makes me feel like i'm playing a good competitive game that's fun so yeah um overall definitely a good multiplayer experience probably great even you know it all depends like if there's one complaint i do have the multiplayer that's major it's um well this doesn't happen too frequently but the lag it just it kind of irritates me that activision still refuses to put in dedicated servers for call of duty you know i feel at that point they kind of need to do that especially since advanced warfare is freaking like one of the most fastest paced call of duties there well, actually probably the most fastest call of duty there is and you know i think it's suffering lag this isn't just lag where you could just play through it because no offense if this game lags it basically becomes unplayable so they definitely need to try add in dedicated servers and you know that's just that's just a nitpick there well not nitpick but minor complaint but um so yeah like i said i like all the weapons the bow 27 is definitely my favorite weapon though i'm sorry i just love the bow 27 you know it's a great weapon so yeah um by the way um it's just like i really um enjoy that a minor nitpick i have as well is that well it's not minor like the maps i won't say the maps are too large but some of them don't flow well like most of them are fine but there are some maps that are insanely large well large as in wide and they sort of make it where it's difficult to find people and when you do they sort of take you out by surprise and you know it just it gets a bit annoying dealing with matches like that but that's just a minor complaint but on to the final verdict in my view call of duty advanced warfare retains everything that made the previous ones great yet at the same time setting a new dynamic and something new and fresh for the call of duty series so ultimately this is a great game and it's definitely a great call of duty game and art and to me it's probably the best call of duty in my view you know i it really just surprised me i wasn't expecting this game to be marvelous like it is so at a scale from one through ten i'm gonna rate this an eight this game is really really good i absolutely love this game by terms of its quality and it's good and by terms of how it is, buy the game. Buy it. You know, it's a good game. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like this video up, subscribe, and peace out.